What's going on guys? Britta here back with more of the Odin Project and we are on assignment number two. Flex header assignment two and this is what our code looks like currently. This is what it needs to look like down here, the desired outcome. And let's go ahead and read the readme. We're starting to sneak in a little more CSS that you haven't seen yet. Don't worry about this for now. We just want things to look a little prettier and this CSS will not interfere with your task. For this one, you will probably need to edit the HTML a little bit. Often with Flexbox, you need to add containers around things to make them go where you need them to go. In this case, you probably want to separate the items that go on the left and right of the header. This is also the first example, example well, where you'll be nesting flex containers inside each other. Desired outcome. As with the last example, this one needs to be flexible in the middle with items pushed to the left and right. Okay, so... This is our style CSS file. This is our index file. And this is the desired outcome. And this is what it currently looks like. So it says we're going to need to add stuff to the HTML. And let's t so let's take a peek here. Um, all this looks good. Div class header, div class logo, div links. So based on this, it looks like the logo, link one, link two, link three are on the left hand side. And then the button and the profile image and the notifications are on the second side. What do we got over here? Profile image, logo, button. Okay, so let's do this part first. I think what we're going to have to do is make a left and a right side. So we got div class header. So all of this is the header. So we want go in here, div class left. So the logo and the links, right? So here, div class left, let's close that. And then we want to close it below the links. I kind of, it's kind of annoying that this thing finishes it for you because it puts it in the wrong spot, but that's okay. Um, so that's the first one. And then after that, we want to do the stuff on the right. So div class equals right. I think we can close that one at the end here. Yep, profile image slash div. Okay, so now we got where we should be able to control the left and the right. All right, let's save that. And it shouldn't have done anything here yet. So let's go over here. Everything is centered vertically inside the header. There's eight pixels of space between everything and the edge of the header. Items are arranged horizontally as seen in the outcome image, and there are 16 pixels between each item on both sides of the header. Flex is used to arrange everything. Okay, so where's our header? So it's uh, in the header, we need a display flex. Eight picks of space between everything and the edge of the header. Items are arranged horizontally. There's 16 pixels between each item on both sides of the header. Flex is used to arrange everything. So display flex, and I think this is gonna be justify content space between 
let's see what that did. All right, so this is what it looks like right now. Okay. That got our first and second split apart, which is kind of moving in the right direction. Um, it said eight pixels of space between everything, so we need to add some padding here. Padding, what did it say, eight pixels? Eight pixels. All right. And then unordered list. UL list type style none. And display flex. Um, margin zero. Padding zero. And then the gap needs to be 16 pixels. All right, let's see what that did. We gotta save it. All right, it's getting better. I think we're gonna have to add a wrap somewhere. Where do we need to add the wrap? Maybe we don't need to add the wrap. We just need to give it more space. And maybe that's because, okay. It is moving when I drag, so that's good. But what are we missing? We gotta target the left and the right that we made the classes, so. Left, right, did I do that right? Display, flex, line, item, center. I think I put the gap in the wrong spot for 16 between each item on both sides of the header. I think I shouldn't have put it there. I don't know. Let's see what happens. Let's save it. What? We did it. Okay, that's pretty cool. But, did I need this? I don't know. Let's see. I don't know if I needed that or not. Refresh. Oh yeah, I do need that because if it's not there, gap, if it's not there, then there's no separation in between the links. Wait a minute, did I, what did I mess up? How did I mess this up? Gap, 16 pixels, 16 pixels. Colon expected. Let's try this again. Gap 16 pixels. Let's do undo. Undo. Oh, I took out a padding. <laughs> I took out padding too. That's what messed it up, I think. Um, let's save it. Okay, that's it. All right, guys. Um, let's see what we're at nine minutes. All right, guys. I'm gonna do the next one. Let's see how many we have actually. So we've got three, four more assignments. So I'm just going to end the video here and we'll do the next assignment in the next video. So I will see you guys then. Bye.